Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain the electronic wood board governor 8290 model synchronous, isochronous. Okay, this governor is control the generator fuel system. Okay, and this is very commonly used in caterpillar generators and big heavy duty diesel generators. So, before the starting the video, I have small request to all of you, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification for more latest updates videos, because I making the video daily basis on the generator problems, generator wiring, and generator controller installation, and sharing the generator uh, electronic manual PDF file to the friends. So let's join my channel and subscribe and uh, and share my videos to other friends which have working on the generator technician, generator electrician and which uh, which persons uh, interest in this field to like the to understand the complete uh, generator working. So join this channel for to understand. So let's get start. This is the electronic fuel governor. Models, parts numbers, 8290 model. Okay. This is the governor and this is the diagram. So let me explain the diagram how to dewire and how to install this governor. This governor have the bottom side 12 terminals. You can see here 1 to 12. Okay. This 1 and 2 is a actuator supply battery negative and base battery positive. Okay. This can operate for from the 12 volt to 48 volt DC. Okay. One is a battery positive, two is a battery negative. Okay, you can control this card through the relay or to the uh, buttons or something. But this need to relay to control because uh, the relay protect this from the burning and overload. Okay, so let's uh, this move to the another terminals. Let me explain. Three and four is a actuator supply. Which actuator? Actuator is mounted on the generator fuel pump, which control the generator fuel system. Some actuator is installed internal, some actuator is installed external. But the supply is same. Okay, this actuator is turning on and off the fuel system and increasing, decreasing the fuel level. Okay, move to the next. Five and six is our MPU. MPU means the Magnetic magnetic pickup unit. This is uh, send the sig AC signal to the actuator. Actuator understand how the engine speed is now rotating and how much speed we have. Then actuator send the supply get back to the actuator. Actuators is automatically working to control the fuel system of the generator. Okay, so let's move to the next terminal seven and eight. 7 and 8 is our potentiometer supply. Okay, this is the potentiometer. If your generator is long away, you can use, you can uh, take to some uh, to control wire to your control room and install the potentiometer. You can increase and decrease the generator voltage from your control room. Okay, far away. So let's move to the uh, this uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Asynchronous means this controller is used to in the parallel operation of the generator. Okay. If four, one, from one, two, one, two, three, four generator is operating in a parallel system, this terminus is used for the synchronization. Okay. If you have, for example, 500 kilowatt load. If your load is increased from the 500 kilowatt, this is sending signal to the inner generator for start to complete the uh, backup remain load, and this will automatically start another generator. When the again the load is down, load is in, uh, decrease. After that, the, the this will this will the since the uh, generator ampere rating load. And this automatically shut down the another generator. Okay, this is some settings 
start fail limits uh, gain stability and rated speed you can set this uh, small potential meter with a screw for the your specific setting so let's the uh, this is the complete uh, winding diagram of the woodward governor 8290 model so i hope you need to you understand completely uh, thanks for watching my videos see you next time all and goodbye